so let's start i have downloaded this model from uh, cg trader i will put the link to the same model in the description down below the texture was a little bit off so i need to fix them because it's totally green and i don't want to be green i want to be a black color of the car so i'm just gonna make it black something like this and i think it looks good but i think i need some imperfection for this model so in order to add imperfection uh what i have done i have downloaded this uh uh, imperfection pack i will put the link in the description because it's totally free and i have downloaded it from art station by this great artist uh yeah i will put the link okay so i have just added it as a ref a roughness maps i'll just add one of the roughness map and it goes like that and it's i think it's perfect you know it makes it very wet kind and it looks realistic for a rent scene like that i have done the same setup for the windows i have just uh, imported an image connected it with the color ramp and just connected it with the roughness and uh, just uv mapped it by projection a cube and that's it now if we go and if you just click a u and uh, cube projection and if you go to tape and as you can see it's perfect now it's time to add some plan object uh, in or the ground object so uh i have used that material i will put the link in the description to the same material if you want to make it too uh so i actually down downloaded this model for the plan or the ground or the floor or whatever you can we want to call it and i just used the same material on this object so go ahead to the directory where you save the, this material and just apply it over that surface okay so i have here and if we, we have all the maps and that's a great thing because we will have some so i've just uv mapped it i just scaled the uv to make it even smaller are you okay so let's add a mixed shatter in between those now let's duplicate the principal shatter and uh, i have just decreased the roughness made the color very black and connected it to the bottom socket of the mixed shatter to add a little bit of witness uh, or you know make it make the ground a little bit wet you know so we have something looks like this uh, i have just made a mask of from noise texture you can just tweak around with this noise texture to actually make it perfect so you can also tweak around with the color ramp to make it a harder you know or sharper or just smoother but i'm going for a sharper look because it does look really great and i think it does look good for now uh okay so I, if i just disconnect yeah if i disconnect the displacement it does looks really great okay so now it's time to add some volume matrix so i added a cube just a simple cube uh scale it up i added the principal volume shatter into the and now we have something very dark you can just decrease the uh, density play around with the anastrophy level uh, the higher the anastrophy level the best the lighting is going to look and uh, you know i just uh, figure it out while doing so so uh, i tried different looks so i added some noise texture and color ramp and connected it to the density uh, to actually make the volume a little bit random in the scene as you can see we have something like this and uh yeah in the real life the fog or the volumetric not equal every uh, point so now i use that model i will put the link in the description uh, of this video you can also use the same model that i use i really liked it because there were some neon signs so it was just a piece of shit when i downloaded it i have to fix every single material for it okay so now uh okay so i used that model and it was perfect you know now it's time for some uh, background or the world map. So I actually came up with this uh, HDRI, which is a light HDRI. I'll put the link the same to the same HDRI in the description down below. So you will be able to use the same HDRI as I used. And I also used that model to actually add so many models into the scene because it does make it very dense and uh, the denser the scene goes, the better it's going to look. And I just placed it uh, somewhere here and uh in the world setting uh oh okay so i added that object as well uh in the faraway place and also this piece of uh i don't know what i call it i just use it as a background building because it was not a high detail okay so i just placed them on a perfect places uh something like this i also duplicated the hotel uh building because it was just looking good when i duplicated it and now it's time to add some uh, blur into the scene actually focusing the car so i selected the camera added uh, an empty to the to the car position and just selected as a focus object 
If we turn on depth of field in the viewport, as you can see, we have some kind of a blur in the scene and it's pretty handy. So now I also use the model. I will put the link to the same sheet in the description down below. And uh, okay, so I'm just gonna grab it and just place it around. Thanks to all of the artists who made this great art and I use it for free. Thanks, bros. Okay, so yeah, that's super nice. I also use these uh, lights uh, to actually add some lights and add some detail into the scene. I just place it around, uh, you know, it's totally up to you what you're going, what you're going for. And uh, you can just tweak it around to add some good light. And I also added some lights near the car to actually lighten up the car. If there's no light near the car, then it's not going to lighten up uh, perfectly. So I just added some of them near it. I also use this container model some of the boxes around it it was just pretty nice i will put the link to the same model in the description down below as you can see i placed them everywhere something like this and i also use this trash model which is just a cube i also added some stone I, which i have instanced on the plan object to add some detail into the plan so i have actually uh, wet painted a ground the ground uh something like this and i then use the stone model to be instance on these uh, positions because it was just adding a next level of detail because the floor it is never gonna be perfect for the realistic scenes and yeah i just play around with this and added some kind of wet pen there okay so go to object mode now it's time to add the rock actually use the same uh wet pen i just make it random made it random and also play around with the scale and as you can see we have some rocks on the ground just increase the number to something like 30,000 and I just play around with the scale with the randomness of scale and as you can see it had a little bit of detail I also use some black uh, object I don't know what it is but I just made them uh, this is just a plan with just noise texture and I just instance them at the same position as I did for the rock to add slight amount of detail into the ground and it was looking great as you can see we have some black spots there that looks super nice and you can just do you can just add whatever you want okay so now it's time to import some uh ren i think yeah i use the inherbert ren which was uh which is not free you can you must be a, a member of his patreon you have to pay for it and not gonna put any link to this model you can use anything from the youtube so actually what I have done, I have added this ren plan, added the mix shatter, uh, then added a translucent shatter, and then added a transparent a transparent shatter. Here we go. And then just connected the transparent with the bottom and translucent with the upper one, and go ahead and just connected it to the image to the factor and to the shatter into the surface. Oh, I just inverted those maps. And now we have something pretty nice. You can't see anything because it's just very very subtle so you can just play around you can just make it smart make this repeat and yeah it's perfect now go to uv editor hit tab and then just scale it up to make it perfect because we, if you want to have a, a denser ren then you need to scale this on uv in uv editor and if you know uh go to edit mode and uh, just make the origin to the bottom of the object so we will we are, we are going to instance this object on the plan okay so if we now go to material view we will be able to see what we have as you can see why we added transfers and shutter because it does make the light effect wherever the light is it will be the same as it is yeah and now let's add another particle system for the rain actually just rotate it on a perfect axis um yeah and i think i have tweaked so many stuff around and uh just rotate it on the axis to actually face the camera make sure that it faces the camera if it doesn't it's not gonna look better i'm gonna scale it up and i'm gonna go to uh material view. as you can see we have perfect ren going on which also affected by the light due to the translucent shutter that we added to the ren and yeah if you scale up the uv then it's gonna be bigger uh, sorry, if you scale down the UV, it's going to be smaller, uh, going to be bigger. If you scale it up, then it's going to be smaller. I added the splashes and I have done the same setting for it. If I go to render uh, material and then just uh, did the same setup as I did for the Ren. And uh, yeah, I just instance there also on the surface of it. 
it's perfect you know i just tweaked around the same setting as i did for the rain and yeah i just uh uh made the it from the linear to smart uh okay 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 okay, okay. i just i just play around with the scale of this object and uh tweaked it around Okay, if you play it, uh, we have something that looks very big. And um, you can just play around with the scale of it. I just duplicated it, changed the settings of these, and actually make it very random. You know, if you play it, it's perfect. Big. Okay. If I go to render view, make sure to increase the light paths transparent because it will just make it transparent. If it is not increased in the render settings, it's not gonna work for you. Okay, make sure that you just make it. I also added this on the car model, actually. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you just use the same uh, wet paint and then just play around with the scale, make sure to have a perfect scale for the car. If it's not perfect, it's not gonna look perfect. <sighs> and yeah just play around okay i think this is pretty nice oh wow thanks to in hubert for giving me a chance to learn the ren effect and yeah as you can see we have a perfect ren animation without going through any simulation or anything it's very stupid and so thanks for watching we have done it but it was pretty fast sorry for that because i was unable to make a whole tutorial and in the future, I will make the same stuff. Thanks for watching, bro. Subscribe.